Hey guys, it's Elena. I haven't posted on this channel in like literally so long, so people that probably used to watch me have no idea who I am. <laughs> but I am 20 years old now, which is so weird. I hate that. I think the last time I posted was senior year. I just ended my sophomore year in college, so I'm going to be a junior next year, which is so crazy. Time is going by so fast. This lighting is kind of strange, but I don't have that many options considering my apartment is a little bit small. My room is like six feet by seven feet, so I'm currently filming in my roommate's room. Sorry, <laughs> she doesn't know that, but she'll figure it out when she watches this video. <laughs> So, enough about me. Today, I'm going to be doing a things I thrifted recently because I've been buying a lot of clothes recently, I'm not gonna lie. My bank account is going down slowly but surely. I'm in New York now, so honestly, I'm not gonna lie, the thrifting kind of sucks ass here just because everything is very much overpriced and yeah. Everything's just really overpriced. I do most of my thrifting on like Depop and eBay and occasionally at like Buffalo Exchange or places in Brooklyn, but mostly online. So I guess I will start off with things I got on eBay. The first thing I got from eBay is this shirt. Can you see it? Okay, this shirt is from a brand called Alberto Mac. I discovered this brand somehow I don't really know he has really cool like patterns like this and I've been really into the almost like I don't know what you would call this but it's kind of like ugh, someone help I don't know <laughs> it's just like cool I don't really know how to describe it, but it's like this weird like stretchy material that you get those shirts that come really small and then you put it on and it's like your size, you know what I'm talking about? Super cute. Well, you might not think so. It's kind of weird, but I like it. Next, I got this, this little blue tank top. It reminded me of that one blue tank top from Unif that's like $100 or something, which I cannot afford. But, oh, I forgot the prices. That shirt was like, like seven bucks. This shirt was also like seven bucks or something. But yeah, it's just like a little like lacy. It's low-key see-through, but that's okay. Little lacy tank. Okay, so I got one thing from Poshmark, so I'm just going to do that one really quick. So I don't know if you follow, if you guys follow the Depop trends, but these little Gilligan O'Malley tanks used to be like a huge thing and people were selling them for like 50 bucks. But I just kind of remembered that that happened one time and so I looked up to see if they still had them because I thought they were pretty cute but obviously out of my price range. So I looked on Poshmark and I found this little top for $7 which is such a good deal considering they used to be very expensive. Yeah, that is it for Poshmark. Next, I'm going to be doing like actual store, like physical stores I went into. Back when I was home for break a while ago, I went to a few thrift stores. The thrift stores in my town are just so much better than here because they're like reasonably priced. I got these sweat shorts. They're so wrinkly, what the heck, sorry. But they're just like light green sweat shorts. They kind of remind me of those like sweatshorts like, they sell at Brandy Melville. Actually, I'm wearing them right now. But yeah. So next thing I got is this little skirt, which is actually huge on the waist, but luckily there's this little drawstring and it goes super tight. It's like white and tiered and I've been meaning to find like a midi or like maxi skirt that's white and tiered like this but this is the best i got for you right now next thing i got at the actual thrift store i got this at goodwill it's a little like 
I don't even know how to describe this, but there's like a little tie right here and a little bit of lace, but I just love the pattern of this. I actually wore this on my birthday, so maybe I'll insert a pic. I just really like crazy, weird, colorful patterns lately, as you can kind of tell. This shirt is by the brand Trina Turk and the size is p so i think that's like petite maybe i don't really know and it's like super like silky and like i don't even know what the, this material is but it's really soft next thing i got these pants now you might be like what the heck elena those are ugly but i think they're kind of cute so they're just like low-key like snake skin if you can see it orangish reddish they're by the brand cash in a size six and unfortunately these turned out to be way too big for me and the material just makes it like not easy to adjust so i had to list this on my depop but they're super cute and like wide legged and they're just really fun pants and you should go buy them off my depop thank you little ad there next thing i got is this scarf it's kind of big whoa it's actually a lot bigger than i thought <laughs> I got this from the Goodwill bins, which if you don't know what that is, it's like just literally giant bins that you have to dig through. They have them in a lot of places, but the ones here are so competitive and these little ladies like wait by the sidelines and like camp out all day and every time a new bin comes in, like everybody runs and they're like shoving things in their cart and it's literally insane. But kind of a fun time i got this so i could turn it into like a skirt or one of those like tie tops if you feel me oh <gasps> i forgot to put my rings on oh my gosh hold on okay i'm back sorry i can't do anything without my rings i get so upset when i accidentally leave them at home Okay, next thing I got is this little, okay, I can just stop calling things a little, but this dress, this is going to be so hard to show you. I'll show you it like part by part. Here's the top, <laughs> and then it's really long. It's kind of just the same like pattern the whole way through, but it's like a long tank dress, and the back has like a little tie and a little hole right here but this is super cute for summer maybe if like i go to a wedding or something i don't really know where i'm gonna wear this i got this from the l train which sometimes actually you can find reasonably priced things there i know i have hated on new york thrift stores but the l train i feel like is one of the better ones honestly this was 15 dollars, which is a little pricey but I just thought it was super cute and I love this color. So also from the L train, I got this shirt and it's like a car shirt. I bought this one because it has my lucky number three right there. And two, I've just wanted a car sh shirt, like a, a, sh a shirt with a cool car graphic. I don't know why, but I've just been liking a ton of them on Depop and like I've just wanted one. And this was like five bucks, so what, not too bad. Another thing I got from an actual thrift store, I don't know why I keep saying that, is this little number. It's just olive-ish green and it has these little dangly things on the front. And I got this from a woke vintage in Brooklyn, which too overpriced, but I was with my mom, so she got it for me. <laughs> it's just super cute and flowy and light for the summer. I'm not gonna lie, this was like 30 bucks and that's too much for the shirt, but that's okay. Sometimes you gotta splurge. And also from a woke vintage, I got this ring. It's like one of those like acrylic-y, type rings that have been in style, but I just thought it was a super cute color, so love that. Honorable mention that I just have to share is this shirt. Tell me this isn't the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. When I was in Brooklyn with my mom, 
we saw this little pop-up store and it had a bunch of things from different designers all around New York. I found this shirt and I was like, mom, look at the shirt. And she was like, wow. And we were like, we have to get it. And then we looked at the price tag and we were like, oh my God. It's a hundred dollars. My mom told me not to tell anybody the price, but like, shh. All of the tiny little details, like the stitching and like the end is like burnt or something, which is crazy. And then the back. This is made by a designer named, I'm gonna butcher this, Amalia Mira. I'll show her Instagram because she is amazing and all of the clothes she makes are absolutely beautiful. You have to check her out even if it's not in your price range. Just like take a look because her clothes are beautiful. But yeah, this is my new favorite shirt but I'm terrified to wear it because I don't want to spill anything on it. Last but not least is Depop. I love and hate Depop because some people on there just overpriced their shit. Oops, sorry their stuff if you look long enough you can find some pretty good stuff on there the first thing i got which oh no i wore this a couple days ago and there's like a huge deodorant stain on it <laughs> but it's fine just like we're just gonna like ignore it this little tank it's like a it's like a high neck type tank but this girl makes the coolest designs and she just puts them on tank tops and shirts. But I just got this one with faces on it and it's such a cool design. I was like, wow, I need this shirt. But she has a bunch of other really cool designs too. So definitely check out her Depop. And the last thing I got from Depop is this shirt right here. It looks like this. And then it, it tie I tie it like, like, like help like cross something around my neck if you can feel me on that look at this design this girl like hand makes these tank tops her depop is conscious brat i believe but she makes the cutest tank tops and like she like hand makes them which is crazy and they're so reasonably priced i believe this was like 28 dollars which is such a good price if You've been on Depop before, you know that that is a good price for something that is handmade. But yeah, definitely check her out because she makes such cool stuff. That is it for the things that I've thrifted recently. Honestly, I'll probably be able to make another video like this soon because I just keep ordering stuff. It's a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. Clothes are like the only thing I ever spend money on, so. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I don't know if like I'm gonna start posting consistently. I would like to, but I'm a little bit scared of like vlogging in New York and like outside. And I know no one cares about what you do because it's New York, but I'm a little bit self-conscious to do that. So we'll see if it happens. I definitely want to make more videos, so we'll see what happens. That's about it, I think. So have a good summer break, everybody, and stay healthy. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.